Hello everybody at Pointlessly Relevant, Jeremy Garen back here, and we will be reviewing the Infinite Skills rap album, Late to the Party. Wait a second, why is Jeremy Garen reviewing a rap album when he is a metal guy? For one thing, I like all kinds of music, but when the, the head guy is Jeremy Ritt, an old school friend of mine, well then yes, I'm going to give him a, a review. So here we go, cue the awesome music. So Infinite Skills starts out their recent album, Late to the Party, with the title track. Late to the Party. And all automatically, uh, you get several different vibes by listening to Infinite Skills music, all right? First off, listen. You listen to the beats, you listen to the music, you listen to uh, the electronics, you listen to the lyrics, all this stuff. This is professional level stuff. This is not just somebody in their mother's basement trying to put together a mixtape, okay? This stuff sounds great. He's a, he's very talented. Uh, it's all professional sounding, so you are going to get a professional sound when you listen to Infinite Skills. Another thing uh, about this is that the themes really, really hit you hard, okay? You, you definitely feel Jeremy Ritt all over this album, okay? Uh, the things that he is proud of, the things that he is not proud of, the struggles of coming up. Uh, all these things, these themes are in his music. And, and starting from the top, late to the party, all right? It is not this late to the party as in this is just a, your typical party-oriented album. No, uh, this really sets the stage talking about, hey, yeah, I'm late to the party. I'm sorry, but I was working hard to fulfill my dreams, okay? I was working hard to uh, make something of myself. So sorry that I'm late. There's also this kind of next level feeling to it because as with most rap albums, as with all great music, there's a number of different uh, levels of theme that you can get. So uh, just on the surface level, it's like, yeah, I'm late to the party because of the things I just mentioned. But another thing is talking about, yeah, he's becoming a superstar. And that is the party. Superstardom is the party. A name for yourself is the party. And yes, he's late to that party because he had to come up on himself. He had to produce it from himself. Uh, he, he, the hard work came from himself. And so you get those themes throughout the entire album. All right, you, you look at some of these great songs. Everything, uh, I mean, you know, the, the, the second song is called Everything. The second track is called Everything. Another, again, you're hitting the themes home. And as far as the rhythms goes, this is one of my favorite ones in the entire track. That's not putting it down. It's not like, oh, well, the music just gets worse from here. It's only got a couple two. No, every time I listen to this album, I'm amazed about the more stuff that I hear from it. it if you're just listening, looking for a surface level entertaining rap album, yeah, this is it. But if you also want to say, no, I want an album that makes me listen to the lyrics and think about it and try to, and try to figure out what's going on in this man's life and how it applies to mine. I'm looking for inspiration with a beat. Then this album is perfect for you. All right, a couple of the themes that you need to think about. Working hard uh, to rise above everything that has happened to you. There's this one great song in it called White Boy. Yeah, quite honestly, some of you guys might notice, hey, this little clip seems a little bit different than the whole rest of the video. That's true because I really struggled about talking about one of the themes in one of the songs that I really, really enjoyed. But you know what? I realized I'm not that kind of guy. So yes, I'm going to talk about it because nothing's taboo to me. All right, so Jeremy Ritt is a great black man. Okay? Le yes, he's a black guy. I'm a white guy. There we go. So uh, in this song, y you hear about his upbringing. Uh, he's got two parents who love him. These two parents, it doesn't seem like they are rich, but they're definitely middle class. They work hard. They support their son. They support their family. They are well-to-do, but, but not like financially crazy rich. Again, in this song, uh, you know, coming up to where, to where he is from, you've got one side of the coin. You've got some people where Jeremy Ritt is black, therefore is too black. But then, because of his economic circumstances, and the fact that he actually does really good in school, you've got this other side that say uh, of black people, of black culture, who will say, no, you're too white. And so they, they make fun of him. And evidently it talks about a prank that was pulled on him. Uh, and they call him white boy. All right, And that's what the, song, uh, what the song is about. 
it really is a powerful song because you definitely feel the racism from one side and from the other side. And in Jeremy Ritt fashion, in Infinite Skills fashion, he just makes it explode. Okay, he brings it together and he puts it on its on its head. White Boy is a great song. Well, uh, that is one of the tracks I will be listening to over and over again. Uh, that is a great performance from Infinite Skills. Another big theme in Jeremy Ritt's music. Working hard to rise above so you can enjoy the freedoms that you have earned. This is one of the, of the great themes of this album. And throughout every song, you can see different parts of his life that try to drag him down. Okay, there, there's those, that side where they look at him and say, you're a young black man, but your parents are kind of successful. I mean, it's not like they were rich, but it wasn't like they were poor. Uh, Jeremy is well educated. He makes good grades. He wants to be a sportscaster. But you know what? There's some people on some side of the lines that quite honestly, he's still too black to trust. And on this other side, he's too white to be thug. Okay, I hate this mentality. I hate it. I hate racism on both sides. And I love how Jeremy's music collides it together. Okay? Uh, and it really makes you feel on, uh, all these different emotions. It makes you angry, but at the same time, it's empowering because you see this guy, he's risen above it. Okay? The scars have made him stronger. And the scars... Uh, and, and everything he has been through, he wears them with pride, and you can hear it in his music. Another great thing that goes to this, don't let the voices of those who think you've sold out hold you back from the greatness that you can give the world. You have a gift to the world. Everyone does. And Jeremy, one of his many gifts is he's an artist. He's a rap artist. His lyrics mean things. His beats move you. It is easy. Listen, it is easy to listen to the voices and give up. It, it is easy to, to, to doubt yourself, especially when so many people doubt you. Because what they definitely don't want, what too many people don't want to see, is you fulfilling your dreams because they couldn't do it. And it becomes this vicious cycle. Where eventually, if you don't go for it, uh, then you'll be you'll feel terrible effects. Oh, I could have been this. I could have been that. And then you got a young man like Jeremy who's becoming that. And man, I'm jealous of his success. Well, don't be jealous. Use it to go back to your dreams and see what you have. And not only that, what you have to give to the world. Because you're not just holding out on yourself when you don't chase your dreams. You're holding out on the world. You're holding out on us. I mean, what you have to give helps us. It helps us as a culture. It helps us as a society. I mean, too many times we get to a place in society when it's all comfortable. If you are too comfortable, then you need to be provoked. Okay, another thing that you that is an undercurrent. It's like it's underneath the surface, and you can definitely feel it in in this album. Is just because you are successful, because you fought for your dreams. Listen, doesn't mean it is safe to just mess with us. All right, just because somebody is successful. And they come from a place where they were told they couldn't do it. Just because they now have a name, that does not mean they cannot fight to defend what is theirs. So yeah, you can use as many words as you want, but you better be careful because Jeremy Ritt is about to be famous and your name might get on an album. You can say many things that you want, but make no mistake, this whole thing that he's soft because he fought for what he believes in, that doesn't make you soft. That makes you stronger. And you should fear somebody who has c come into the reality of how great they can be and how much they can give the world. You try to stand in between that, talk bad about that, or even try to physically provoke against that, man, you got more on your hands than you gambled for. So that is another great undercurrent. Listen, this is also a, just a fun album. Like I said before, the Pete's are great. You could just listen to it and have it in the background of a party. You could have it in the background of just uh, having a nice relaxing afternoon, but it is also a depth of field album. 
okay? It, there is lessons in this. There is hard truths in this. And make no mistake, okay? Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. I can't think of anything I disagree with, but let's just say I did. Sometimes in our conversations, me and Jeremy Ritt, we disagree. But the thing is, is that even in those moments where I disagree with this man, I admire his passion and his knowledge that he has to give education behind his arguments and not just what everybody says is. And that is another reality that you read into this. The, the mentality of Jeremy Ritt, infinite skills, that is definitely what you can think about. He must have thought long and hard about this and what kind of title would capitulate his music. Infinite skills. Infinite. Unlimited. And just like Thanos snaps his fingers and you know what? Jeremy Ritt has snapped his fingers and the haters are gone. Because he is doing it. This is a rap album that I could not recommend enough. I have a link to his website in the comments section. Also, you can find Infinite Skills on uh, iTunes as well. This is Jeremy Garrett at Pointlessly Relevant. Have a pointlessly relevant day. By the way, Jeremy Rett, hey, you know, my music sounds pretty cool, but it's all the stuff that's free that you get on an app. Wouldn't it be awesome if maybe Infinite Skills helped me out with an intro? What do you guys think? Talk to us in the comments. Love you guys. Cue awesome music.